What's good, everybody? It's your boy Mo. We back at it like a crack addict. Y'all know the vibes. Hey, man, welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be telling you what most semen retention channels won't tell you and what to expect after your first 30 days of semen retention. So I've been doing semen retention for a while now. I think my longest streak was like a little bit over 100 days. And late, recently, I've been on semen retention for a little bit over a month. I started like early June and now it's like early mid July. And I just wanted to give you guys what to expect after after your first 30 days. But before I tell you what benefits that you will see after your first 30 days, I want to tell you that it's totally fine to, you know what I'm saying, relapse. It's totally fine to bust a nut. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go ahead, go watch you some porn, go do this, go masturbate tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you that it's in our nature to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's in our nature to, you know what I'm saying? Make mistakes or anything, bro. It's in our nature to be a normal human being. You know what I'm saying? And it's totally fine to bust it up because, you know what I'm saying? You can use that sexual energy to manifest things into your life. You know what I'm saying? Just how women can do that. You know what I'm saying? We can do that as well. But when you do it, when you overdo it, when you over abuse that, you know what I'm saying? And when you're overdoing it, you're constantly shooting out so much spiritual energy within you. So you don't want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? That's why semen retention is a thing. So you can apply it into your life and protect your seed. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about positive intentions, bro. You don't want to go into that mindset of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm about to be my me too. You know what I'm saying? Watching porn and none of that. You don't want to beat your me too. You know what I'm saying? Looking at other girls doing that, all, any of that. You know what I'm saying? You want to put that energy towards yourself. You know what I'm saying, bro? If you're going to beat your me, bro, beat your me to your goddamn thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my mouth. Excuse my mouth. But if you're going to beat your me, bro, do that to your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because your thoughts create your reality. You know what I'm saying? It's more than just your thoughts. It's also your belief systems. It's also, you know what I'm saying? What you, you know what I'm saying? Everything. But intentions is everything, right? So if you're going to beat your meat, you know what I'm saying? If you went on a 200, 300 day streak and you realize, bro, you're perfectly fine. You're perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Because all that, bro, you're you going to let one little relapse, you know what I'm saying? Bring you, bring your vibration all the way down. No, you don't want because, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? You're perfectly fine. You're in good hands. You know what I'm saying? And how you feel afterwards is a big thing too so if you're feeling a lot of guilt if you're feeling a lot of shame if you're feeling a lot of you know what i'm saying low vibrational emotions within yourself after relapsing then you got to realize that you got to start steering your thoughts in a more positive mindset you know what i'm saying because how you feel afterwards is very important because that energy can carry on and it can just put you on a lower vibration you know what i'm saying it can put you on a lower state of being but you want to realize that, you know what I'm saying? If you do realize, bro, it's all good, bro. It's all good because it's in our human nature. And I just wanted to give you guys what to expect after your first 30 days of semen retention. The first thing to expect after your first 30 days of semen retention is that you will start to look at women a lot differently. And you know what I'm saying? You will start to look at women with a higher perspective. You will start to look at women with more of your higher self's point of view and less of your lower self's point of view. And what do I mean by this? I mean that you won't see how women, you won't see women how society made us think that we were supposed to see them. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you won't, you're not going to see women as, as if they were objects. You're not going to see women as if they were, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to see women all the way sexually. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start seeing women from, with a higher perspective. And you got to realize, bro, our whole entire lives, bro, we were, we, we were taught a certain way about women we were taught certain things about women we were we, we were taught certain bs about women belief systems you know what i'm saying and all of these belief systems were to reprogram our minds into thinking oh women are this and that like you should look at women you know what i'm saying oh look at their ass look at this and look at that you know what i'm saying like they, they wanted us to see women as an object you know what i'm saying but women are far greater than what society has made us believe they were you know what i'm saying and after your first 30 days you will start to see that. You will start to see that, especially if you stop if you stop watching that porn. You know what I'm saying? And the second thing to expect after your first thirty days is that you will start to have a lot more energy within you. And this may either be physical energy or this may be spiritual energy. You know what I'm saying? And physical, you might it might be both. And you know what I'm saying? Your dreams, you might be more conscious in your dreams. You might be more aware of everything around you. And that is all spiritual energy, physical energy. You might, you know what I'm saying? You start feeling a lot more stronger. You might feel like, 
oh, you have that energy within you to go work out, to go for a run, you know what I'm saying? To go do this and that, to put that sexual energy into something else, you know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? Better yourself physically, spiritually, mentally, you know what I'm saying? You will start to have a lot more energy within you. Third thing that you should expect after your first 30 days of semen retention is that a lot more women, a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Not just women, but a lot more things will be attracted to you. You will start glowing, you know what I'm saying? You will start to, and this is the first stage of your attraction. This is the, this is really like 30 days, 30 days is a good amount of days. But once I say, once you go over like two or three months, bro, you will start feeling like God, like, you know what I'm saying? But you will become a lot more of a magnet, you know what I'm saying? Not just to women, not just to anything, but whatever you want to manifest in this life, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to put your mindset and, you know what I'm saying? Reach after your goals, you know what I'm saying? Anything, bro, anything you want, bro, you can manifest because you build so much spiritual energy within you from retaining your seed. And this is what will attract a lot of things into your life. And not just speaking about women, not just speaking about, you know what I'm saying? Materialistic things, but more, more of like, you know what I'm saying? more spiritual things, you know what I'm saying? But 30 days is like going to be like the first stage of you noticing that benefit of, you know what I'm saying, women or whatever, seeing that glow within you. A lot more women will see that glow within you. Like if you out in the public, bro, if you out and about, they're going to know you a chosen one. They're going to be like, oh, look at him. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're they, they going to peep. They're going to peep. Even some men, they're going to be like, oh, so now I wish I could, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could protect my seat like that. But now nah, I'm a little... I'm a little, I'm a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little sent for my wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the fourth thing to expect after 30 days of retaining your seed is that you will start to feel a lot more in tune with yourself and you will start to, you know what I'm saying, have more self-love for yourself. You will start to have more self-respect, self-discipline on yourself, you know what I'm saying? You will start to have, you know what I'm saying, more willpower within yourself. You will start to feel way more better as a person because... If you, bro, look, if you can go, uh, if you can go a week without retaining, bro, if you can go two weeks without retaining, you can do a month, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, because when you're retaining, bro, you're not, like, you're not becoming a, you know what I'm saying, a slave to your own sexual desires, bro. You, you're conquering yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're becoming, you're mastering yourself, and you will start to feel a lot more better whenever you start to protect your seat, you know what I'm saying? And that is the fourth benefit that you will see after retaining for 30 days. The fifth benefit that you will see after retaining for 30 days is that you will start to feel a lot more happy. And semen retention, look, bro, semen retention is just one of many spiritual practices, bro. So when you start combining semen retention with things like, you know what I'm saying, getting into nature, going, you know what I'm saying, sun gazing, start eating a lot more natural food, start eating a lot better because what you eat is what you become. Um, when you start to apply a lot of other things into your life with semen retention, you will start to feel a lot whole, a lot, a lot more fulfilled, a lot better as a person. You know what I'm saying? You will start to feel a lot happier as a person. And you know what I'm saying, bro? If you want better for yourself in life, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, start reaching after your goals, start reaching after your infinite potential and start feeling a lot more better within yourself. If you want to start, you know what I'm saying, becoming more of who you truly are within yourself and not who, what society has made you to be, you know what I'm saying? Made you to be your ego, you know what I'm saying? Because everything around us is just ego related, all these people ego related, all these things ego related, all these materialists, you know what I'm saying? If you just want to be more of your soul, bro, if you want to be more of your higher self, you got to go you got to get your ass up and become your higher self, you know what I'm saying? You can't just sit around and be like, "Oh yeah, like you know what I'm saying? You got to get on that frequency, bro. You got to get on that frequency and you cannot let anybody or anything lower your vibration. You cannot let anybody or anything, you know what I'm saying, tame you out your element. You can't just sit around and, you know what I'm saying, want things to be better for you whenever you're not doing anything to be better. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta put that energy towards you gotta bro where 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 attention goes, energy flows. You know what I'm saying? So start start becoming your higher self up here. You know what I'm saying? It all starts with the mind. And you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If this video resonated with you, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you can keep in touch with the energy. It's your boy Mo. Till next time. Peace. Yo, to continue on why I was saying that it's okay to relapse, a lot of people tend to get on semen retention to think, you know what I'm saying, they, they have a lot of expectations upon semen retention, not knowing that this is just an ancient practice that was used to, you know what I'm saying, become more of a god, become more of a, you know what I'm saying, but a lot of people have a lot of expectations upon semen retention and they don't realize that they're still holding on to a lot of things, that they still, you know what I'm saying, holding on to a whole bunch of negative energy within themselves and 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying, oh, yeah, go ahead, bitch on me. Go ahead, do this and that. No, I'm not saying none of that, bro. I'm saying that sometimes the energy needs to get out, get out of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm some, sometimes you, like, I don't know, like, whether you got to go punch a goddamn wall or something. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my mouth once again. Whether you got to go punch a wall or whether you got to go realize whatever. Bro, do what you got to do to get that negative energy out of you. Because a lot of people will have that negative energy within them and not know how to get it out of them. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to find what works for you. You have to find what works best for you. And you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say.